And take a look, or rather, a listen to this. <laughs> Timothy Janis won the World Burping Championship over the weekend in New York City. He burped for more than 18 seconds and walked away with 500 bucks. For take a look at this, I'm Elizabeth Corden. We'll have much more on the orangutans using iPads, the research that's being done, and how it's more than just monkey business coming up later today on First at Four. So be sure to stick around for that because I run a very classy show. <laughs> Moving on to garbage, hazardous waste. It sounds like something that should be buried a mile or so down in a special lead lined container. But believe it or not, hazardous waste is in many common household items. Ashley Boudreau is here from the city of Tuscaloosa to tell us more. Ashley, thanks so much for being That's with right. us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And I appreciate you being a good sport about following the burping segment. Oh, yeah. Thanks. It's <laughs> tough to follow that one. Make anything sound interesting. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. Well, we're talking about garbage, so I guess we can't complain. That's right. Yeah. This weekend, I wanted to come on and let everybody know we've got our Household Hazardous Waste Disposal Day coming up. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people know that they actually have toxic and flammable and corrosive and some pretty dangerous chemicals in their house. And these sort of chemicals should not be disposed of in your normal garbage. So we have this annual event so people can kind of collect what they have, what they don't want anymore, and come on down to our environmental services department for the city of Tuscaloosa and we will properly dispose of these items for you. It's a free event to Tuscaloosa County residents. All right, and, and this is, you were talking about, these are things that you don't want to throw out with your normal trash, but these right. are Pretty much everyday household items, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, drain cleaner, toilet cleaner, things like that. Um, pool chemicals, any sort of jewelry polish or metal polish. I know a lot of folks like to clean their silver. Mm -hmm. uh, bleach, you know, that's something that, really? that should not be thrown away in your normal garbage. And we certainly don't want people dumping it on the ground outside or putting it into our local waterways. Mm -hmm. um, pretty, pretty dangerous for the environment. So these are pretty um, common things around the house. Even batteries and light bulbs should not be thrown away in your normal garbage. Light bulbs. Light bulbs, yeah. Really? Yep. Mm. Yep. Now, and it's, it's pretty common that mm. folks do, but there are some businesses here in the Tus Tuscaloosa community that will accept those sort of things. Like Home Depot and Lowe's, you can bring items like that. But for an event like this, if you've got a whole bunch, we will gladly take that off your hands and dispose of them properly. Understood. Yep. Now, you guys do this, what, once a year? Once a year, yeah. And it's sponsored by the City of Tuscaloosa Environmental Services and Nucor. So we're real appreciative that they've gotten on board and really helped us pull this event and make it as successful as it has been in the past. All right, so your old light bulbs, your, old, your batteries. Batteries. You know, and a lot of the kids, they like to play the Wii. That's right. And the Wii goes through the batteries pretty quickly. Exactly, and a lot of those batteries, even the rechargeable and cell phone batteries and camera batteries, um, you don't want to throw those away in your normal, normal trash. They've got some pretty nasty metals and chemicals inside that can um, leach out into our landfills. So it's great to dispose of these at, at our Household Hazardous Waste Disposal Day this Saturday. There you go. Yep. Ashley, we're out of time, but thanks yep. so much for being with Thank us Thank you today. very much. Hazardous Waste Disposal Day is Saturday, June 16th at the Environmental Services Department. That's on Calusa Avenue. It starts at 8 a.m. For more information, call 205-248-4900.